Yes. So we're starting with a kanji check. Um, do you remember what this word was? Shokuji. Perfect. Do you know this kanji? Hai. Hayaku. Perfect. To hurry. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Ore wa unazui da ta. You know what unazuku meant? From a while ago. Unazuku. I forgot. That means to nod. Unazuku, to nod. Unazuku, hai. What does ore wa unazui da mean? Orewa unazuita mean I nodded. Yes, perfect. Can you read the sentence? Konwa hayaku toita. Toita. Hi. What do you think this means? Toita. He say hurry. Exactly. Kon perfect. Say, hurry. Yep. So a lot of times you won't see quotation marks around whatever's being quoted. So you kind of have to guess by context what it is. This book is actually pretty good at giving like commas um, to kind of separate what people are saying from the actual quotes. But there are plenty of books that won't really have anything in particular marking what's being said. So theoretically, someone could say it could be kan wa hayaku toita, which means someone said kan, hurry. Um, or could, but that probably wouldn't really exist because who would say that con con should hurry? But you would know by context whether or not they're just saying hurry or con is hurrying. And good job for not like thinking he said something fast because that would be hayakuita, right? Without the to, would just be saying he said it fastly. So, yeah. Hi. Good job. Um. Uh, sakarao. Sakarao. I'm like, it means to betray, but I don't think that's what it means. In this. Oh, yeah. It is. This kanji mean upside down or it to does. turn upside down. The word upside down does have saka in it. It's like it's saka maka. Yeah, it's maku. I learned that one from How Moving Castle. The scarecrow or the, the crow was upside oh. down. And she came over and she turned it upside down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Interesting. Learn from that movie. Nice, good job. Sakarao. Learn from watching things. Yep. So this so sakarao means to betray, basically to betray or to not listen to something, basically sakarao. Hey. Um. What is? Do you know what hora hayaku? You know what that means? Hey, hurry! Exactly. Perfect. Nice. So, how would you say the thief? I mean, the magician betrays the thief. This is going to be a really hard one. The thief. The thief got betrayed. Hi. Okay, so it's gonna be hmm, it's either or or knee. You're correct. It's either, I'm, I'm gonna tell you time. it is knee. This is why I said it's super hard. It is knee. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, why can it not be O? But it can't. I like Googled, I was like, huh, it's interesting. I just it just cannot be O. There's there's no possibility. Okay, I like to that. hear the explanation why it can't be O. I don't know. It just, it just can't. <laughs> it can't be. Oh, I don't know. Cut out is the act of betraying, uh, right? Yeah, to betray to, to betray. this person, I guess. Um, in a way, even though it means to betray, it can also be interpreted as to not listen to, which works either better with the knee. So to not listen to the thief, but it does also. Mean I know betray. why. I think I know why. Wait, wait. Did it even mention whether this is a transitive or an intransitive verb? Uh, it would probably be um, intransitive, I would guess. I never know it, the words. Yeah, that would make sense. If it's intransitive, then it can't take the O. True. But I just, it is an intransitive I, verb. That's the reason why it cannot be O. Normally, though, you can look at the verb and be like, what does the verb mean? And insinuate which particle it would get, though, based off of the meaning. Not right. just by using the intransitive versus transitive meaning. Uh, but yeah, it takes me to not betray the thief. Okay. Hi. Imperative form. How do you say uza una, unazuku? Wait, do you remember what unazuku meant? To nod. How do you say that into imperative form? Like, you better nod. Hi. 
Unazuke. Perfect. Unazuke. Nice. So you've seen, heard the sound effects, dunto and shuto, and now the next sound effect is sasato. Um, sasato. Sasato means like, 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 it, rather than talking about a speed in which something is done, it's more like the speed that something like starts, like, to just get, so soon it's like, <laughs> move swiftly moving something, but sasato is like starting your move swiftly. So that that's a it's like the begin basically sasato like immediately kind of. Can we review these three words? Yeah. Um So I'm let me try. Okay. So zunto is to do something quickly, and... but but more of a uh, like uh, turbulent kind of violent way. Yes, right? exactly. Um, suto is also doing it quickly but softly. Exactly. And then sasato is to do it quick but in a starting way. Like yes. Start quickly. Exactly. Nice. Sato, start something quickly. Nice. Okay, now we're actually seeing potential form that e edu. Um, so the bill, <laughs> the possibility to do something, which is just edu, drop the u. So how do you say sakarao, which is to betray into to be able to betray? U, replace with the edu. Hai. Sakareru. Yep, sakareru, sakareru. Huh? Uh, sakareru. So you replace the u with e. So sakara e ru. Sakara e ru. Yep. Sakara e ru. Not sakare ru. Yep. Not sakare sak. <laughs> sakara e ru. Wait, 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 wait. You replace the u with the this e. This modo ru is an u verb, right? Yes. Ends with u. Replace the u with e. Modore. So, but it keep the it kept the R sound. Yeah, there's so no there's no R here. It's right here with it. Sakara ends with an U character, not a da U. Doesn't end with do. It ends with da plus U. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So this is okay, R A U. This is an U, not ru. Yes, this is an U verb. <laughs> ends with I... literally U. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Okay. So, what does it say? Sasato unazuke hoyu hara no koe. Hi. Meaning, uh, he started to not quickly um the stomach started to nod it quickly where's starting coming from sasato mm, true 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 okay uh that um, that is to do something quickly you're correct the sasato is actually modifying the unazuku it's not really modifying that you in this context because you doesn't normal like toyu doesn't normally get modified by um adverbs because in in itself it's kind of like its role is normally to say a define b so it's a little it, it's not commonly um modified right so you so assume this it's sentence then it's saying the voice of the stomach said not quickly Exactly. Go ahead not, and nod quickly. It says nod quickly. You better nod quickly. Start <laughs> nodding right away. Sasato <laughs> unazuke. Sasato <laughs> unazuke. Um, do you happen to know what the knife form of sakaraeru? This is a do verb. Sakaraeru. The knife form. Hai. Drop the ru. Yep. Sakaraenai. Sakarae nai. Perfect. That is a negative of to betray. That's what you said. To not betray. Do you remember what Zu tells us? Um, without. Yep, without. Perfect. So this is made by while well, getting the negative form, dropping the nai, and adding Zu. 
、はい、So, what is the zoo form, the without form of Sakarai's Sakarairu? Sakaraezu. Perfect. Sakaraezu without being able to betray. And now you get to go read the line from the book. Sasato you Sasato Unazuke Hora Hayaku to you Hara no Koe ni Sakaraezu Orewa Unazuita. I nodded without being able to deny the voice of my stomach saying, Hurry up! Uh, nod it quick, quickly, nodded, man. Yeah, quickly, nod! <laughs> <laughs> Get the food! <laughs> He was like, Yep, that's me. <laughs> I am I am the baka. Okay.、Yeah. How do you read this word? Shokudo. So, shokudo is kind of like cafeteria, but it's not like the normal、um, word cafeteria.、Um, shokudo. Sorry, it's, like... it's like a buffet. Yes, <laughs> it is kind of like a buffet. It's an eatery, a snack bar. In this context, diner is the better word. Like, for, I know what location they're going to. So, it's basically a diner. Kind of like an I... inn with like a food area, kind of. Shokudo. This d o l l g i v e the meaning of big, like a hall. It's a It big、does. hall. It's not a small little ramen place. True. Yes. d o l l does have that meaning. Do、um, you know what aku means with this kanji? To open? Yes, to open. Nice.、Um, so, what's this ending part of shoku is pronounced as for、um, diner? d o l l Yep. Do. Shokudo. So let's go read this sentence. What does this say? Waki michi ni shokudo ga aru. What does this mean? It means there is a dining place at the side street. Perfect. Nice. Do you know what the te form of aku is? Become the form of ku is ite. Yep. Aite. Aite. Perfect. Can you tell me what this means? Shokudo wa aite iru. Hi. And the dining place was open or is、Perfect. open. Is open. So, this is just a check if you know what asoko, soko, and koko means.、Um, let's pretend this is who you are. You're the blonde girl right here, and you're talking to the black hair character. What、Hi. item is at asoko? We have a frog、Asso. or a cat. Asoko ni nani ga iru? Asoko referring to the cat. Yep.、Neko. And what does soko refer to? Soko referring to something by the listener, so the frog. Perfect. Yep. The... <laughs> Do you know what mada means? Mada means not yet、Perfect. or still ongoing. Let's see. Can you read this for me? Koko ni aru shokudo wa mada aite iru. What does that mean? It's saying that the Dining place at this location is still being open. Yes, it's still, still open. opening. Yes, it's still in the act of openness. You know what kado means? Kado meaning a corner、yes. or a horn.、Uh, that would be pronounced differently for horn. That'd be tuno. Same kanji though. Hi. Hi. So kado then just means a corner. Yes. Okay, let's go read what、um, the old man says.、Uh, Yokoro means like, well, then, basically. It's kind of like an old man speech thing. Hi. Yokoro. Yokoro. Soko no kado ni aru shokudo ga 
まだ空いている。Well then, Uh, over at that corner, there's a restaurant that's still open. Perfect. Nice. Our next word is hanase, which means to release or to let go. Hanase. Hai. What hanase. particle would you think we'd use here if it says to make my hands let go from the, from the shoulders? Hai.、Uh, kata kara te o hanase. Yep, perfect. Nice. Do you recognize this kanji? It's been a long time. It's kind of a hard kanji. It's the、was. cane. Yeah. The sue. Sue. Perfect. Sue o tuku means to walk with a cane, like to use a cane. Sue o tuku. Tuku means like the p o k e So you kind of think of you're stabbing something with a cane because that's how you use them. Kachung, kachung. Kachung, kachung. Kachung. Sue no tuku. Yeah. Do you know this kanji? Um, supposed to be quick, so yes, this is Q. Q, Q not, yep, Q not suddenly. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Sue o tsuite aruita. What does that mean? With the cane, to walk quickly with the cane, using the cane, yeah, to walk with a cane, nice. So, our next word is、um, oridu, which is to descend. And I just want to say that you can use de with oridu to refer to the tool you use. And you can use ni with oridu to refer to a destination. However, the sentence over here is not referring to a tool or a destination.、Uh, what particle do you think we need to go right here to say descending the steep hill? Descending the saka,、um, you would take ni. That's a, I told so sadly, saka is not a destination,、uh, so we can't use ni for that. Wait, wait, okay, I'm sorry, let me analyze this. This saka, we are going down the saka, right? Yes, we're on the saka going down, so it's not our destination, we、it's、just on it. Yep, we're just on it. So, what's complicated is that you use o here. Wait a、oh. minute. So, if it's、oh, a tool,、yeah. you use de. So, if you were like, he's using his like cane, for example, or if you use your the stairs.、Um, but o is just saying you're descending this item. The item you are descending on takes o, but the tool you use to descend to a location would be taking de. So, okay. All the so, to confirm. Hi. Is it similar to that other word we learned? Step on the paved street. We、yes. also use o for the、yeah. machi. Yes, just like that. Hi. Hi.、Um, so, tuiteku and tuitekuru.、Um, this comes from like to go along with somebody, to be taken along. Tuite.、Um, however, if you are the subject of a sentence and you end with iku, That insinuates you're leaving a location and you're not planning on coming back. If you are the subject and you end with kudu, that insinuates you would tend to come back. So you might hear like, tore ni itte kudu, would mean I'm going to go to the toilet and I'm going to come back. Might be something more likely a girl would say to gal friends.、Um, but iku would say, I'm going to the toilet, go on without me. I'm not coming back. I'm running out, the, I'm going to jump out the window or something. Because you've seen these before from when someone else does an action, but when you, the subject, are the action, then these have slightly different meanings, which is iku means we're leaving this location, kudu means we'll come back. And do you know what this tuite means? In this tuite、context? meaning sticking along with, so、yes. come with. Exactly, perfect. Now let's go read these two sentences. Hi. Chisan ga. 俺の肩から手を離し、ああ杖を突きながら、I'm sorry、杖を突きながら、急な坂を折れ、折れ、折れる。折り、折り、折り
와 어리 하지 메르 어레 어레 모 스위트 있다. So what's the first thing that happened? Ji-san ga ore no kata kara te o hanashi. First thing is uh the Ji-san removed his hand, released his hand from my shoulder. Perfect. And then what's then, the next thing he does? While using his cane, he um rapidly descend the hill, started to descend the hill, go down. Hi. So this is kind uh, of my fault. Uh Kuna Saka. Q does mean like suddenly or like rapidly or something like that. But when you're using that to describe a hill, because it's not describing hill, you can't really say a rapid hill. So it actually means steep in this context. Oh, so it doesn't modify the action of going down. It modifies no. the noun next to yeah. it. That's why it's not right I'm, there. You so right. It's not knee, it's not. Yes. Right. So if it's a Q knee, then it would be suddenly descends. But here it's describing the mountain. Hi. That was my fault. I didn't it's, point that out to you. <laughs> it's a steep slope. Hi. So he de he descended, he started to descend the steep hill. Perfect. With and, his cane. And and he brought I come along with him. Yes, and I come along with him, leaving our current location with no plans on returning. <laughs> Perfect. Hi. Hi. Uh, do you know this kanji? No. Nah. Perfect. And omai is something you probably also know. It is a way to say you. It's a you you should probably avoid. It is like level two rude, I guess. Like there's ruder ways to say you. If you have to say you in real life, you can use kimi. I... Uh, like for example, kimi no nawa is a name of a very well known um, anime. But in general, try not to you say you. <laughs> just, just avoid it. But if you have to, Kimi is what you should use. Oh my, is used because this old man is rude. Uh, what does the old man say? Oh my, no, not my, what? Oh my, no, not what? Exactly. <laughs> oh my, no, not what? What is your name again, boy? Um. So, <laughs> washi is something you're only ever going to see in media. That And an old man is the only one that's ever going to say washi. Washi is a very like old manny washu ah it's a, it's like like watashi like I it's a very much old man I and I think it's like you won't see real old man use it I could be wrong about I, that I, I haven't talked to a lot of old Japanese men in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but I I think that is like one of those anime words like watakushi for example old woman do use watakushi so like that I, that's like the feminine version <laughs> but uh that one is used but yeah washi. Oh yeah. What does this magician say? Washi wa neburi. Omai no nawa. So what does this old man say? He say, I am neburi. And what is your name? Perfect. Nice. And next is kanji check. Um what's these guys? Hara no. Koe. Hi. Perfect. And this guy? Shokudo. Hi, Shokudo cafeteria. Um, how about this guy? Kata. Hi, and what does this mean? Kunasaka. Yep, meaning kunasaka. a steep hill. Nice. And what's this word way over here? Hayaku. And this Hurry. is our last one. Ori. Hajimeru. Hi, Start to go down. Perfect. That's the end of that paragraph. And that is where we're going to stop for today. Yay. 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 Um, any questions before we go? Mm -mm. It's good today. Nice. 